Who is this? Yeah. Let me see. This is Gage Christian Viani. Oh. <laughs> the latest addition to my Italian pantry. Ah, oh, the latest addition to your pantry. Hello. So happy already. Is the yeah, baby it... is the baby a good eater and a good sleeper? Oh, he's a good eater. I, I can't, no, for now, it's kind of on a milk diet. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's, that's the first step to introduce him to cheeses and stuff. <laughs> he's, gonna go, he's gonna go on sausage and cold cut very, very soon. <laughs> but, uh, but he's a good, oh yeah, I can see how happy he is. He's, he's gonna be a daddy's boy, huh? Yeah, he's <laughs> hungry now. <laughs> I know. Food. Yeah, he's a good eater. We'll hand him off to mommy if he gets too hungry and too cranky. Yeah, right. Fabio, thank you for taking time to join us. I know you're going to come as soon as you can in November, but could you just share with the audience some of your favorite ingredients and just your overall concept about how to build an Italian pantry? You know, Brandy's one of our viewers. She's a young lady who married into an Italian family, and she wants yeah. to set up her kitchen so she can do more Italian cooking. When, when you say pantry, it's not only your dry storage. Right. It's as well as your fridge, your freezer, right. and any other ingredient that you can really possible cooking with. Right. Ba ba crying baby not included, of course. <laughs> but, uh, you know, among my favorite ingredients to cook with, there are really the basic for Italian food, which is whole eggs. You can do a whole lot of things today, from pasta to egg dishes to filling and anything in between. I agree. Um, and uh, I also love grana padano. I, I can't go a day without sprinkling something like grana padano on my dishes. This is what I would take away on the dessert aisle <laughs> if I only had to choose Italian ingredients. And some for the baby, fine. Fine. And so I was gonna say, and some milk for the baby, fine. Bring mom to the island too.